So I'm sure you heard that that's not acceptable, which is why I have new lash adjusters. And I think tonight I might try to change those over. Um, it's about 5.30 at night right now or so. We'll see if I can get it done tonight. So I'm going to grab some tools and I'm going to start ripping and tearing and taking it apart. You can see I've got my new Ninja Performance Lash Adjusters. And I bought the tool so you can compress the valve springs and take the, the rocker arm out. And we'll see how that goes. I don't know how long this is going to take. I know I can I can rip off this uh, intake and valve covers probably in 15 minutes or so. But I don't know how, how quick it's going to be to remove the lash adjusters. And I'm just going to throw the new ones in. And let's see. It's all apart, and I am down to the heads, and I can get to the lash adjusters now. So they're right here. And there's like 24 of them, I think. And so it took me about almost exactly 35 minutes to do that, to get to this point. And that was with moving the camera around and stuff like that. I, If I really just cranked on it, I could probably do it in 20 minutes, but I'm out of practice. Anyways, time to get my new tool out that I bought with the, the new lash adjusters and see how that works. So I was putting the engine back together, the top end here, and I noticed when I was doing that, that uh, there was a washer on my fuel injector harness, and there was no longer a washer here. And so when I took the bolts out, I didn't realize there were washers on here, that I had put those there in the past, and I remembered that when I was taking stuff apart or working on the lash adjusters that uh, at one point I heard a noise like a ting 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 like something fell and yeah so I got a little bit panicked thinking maybe a washer dropped down in here which normally what happens to people is on these studs here there's a lock washer on the uh, the manifold, intake manifold, right here. And people forget about that washer and it falls down in the intake and it gets into the cylinders and it ruins the engine. So I was pretty scared that uh, that might be what happened. And I, like I said, I had taken a little bit of a break and I just came back out because I, I couldn't stand it not knowing. I was gonna pull a piss the plugs and do some fishing around with a magnet to see if I could pull anything out 
because I looked down in here and I've, I've cranked it over a couple times and I, you know, there's no washers in there, but I just looked under the car and found that washer. So feeling pretty confident now that it's not there, but a little bit sketched out as to how could it go from here to under the car. So I still, I don't know, maybe I should pull a plug, a couple plugs. I pulled both of the center plugs, which is where that washer would have most likely have landed if, if it did in fact land in there. And I used a magnet, Let's see if I can find it. Just a magnet and I ran it down in there. I didn't find anything. Uh, I don't know. So it's really striking how much this washer looks just like that one which is the one I found right under the car. But it's kind of boggling my mind a little bit. It's like, how would it get from here to directly under the car? But at the same time, how could it look that similar? I mean, I, I w swept the whole floor before I got started on this job. So I'm going to put it back together. And needless to say, I am going to be extremely nervous when I go to start this car up. All buttoned back up. Everything's back together as it was. There's no nuts or bolts or anything laying around, which means I must have got them all. And I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't nervous about starting it up. So I know it's going to be really noisy because... Those lifters haven't been primed yet, but I'm just hoping there's no uh, no washers or whatever in that engine. This is the first start since I put it back together. We'll even see if it will start. All right, let's see. normal lights. Those are the lights I expect to see. Some really high pitched sound. Oh, I see it. Uneventful. I forgot a vacuum line, but that's no big deal. I still hear a lot of ticking. Might take a little while for those lifters to pump up. We'll see, hopefully they do. If not, then I've got something else making this noise. But I know it's not the bottom end, I have great oil pressure. So. Ignore my missing bolt. I stripped that out. One works fine for now. All right, well, it's all done. It's running, runs good. Uh, avoided a big cat catastrophe with the washer. Stupid. But it's still got a pretty loud tick. It's not a knock. I mean, I, like I said, I know the bottom end is solid, great oil pressure. It's still ticking right now. I'll maybe drive it to work tomorrow and see if it clears up, but... Quick update, I've been running it for a while now. I haven't driven it really yet, but just been running it. And 
the more I beat on it, the more the tick goes away. So I think that the lifters or lash adjusters did fix it. It's hard to hear it with the fans, but it sounded awful before. And uh, now you can barely hear the tick. It's really kind of going away. This makes me feel a lot better. Still here, a little ticking. It's just about gone. All right, I think that did that. Little follow up. I have since driven the car to work and the difference is unbelievable. So apparently my lash adjust has been bad for a very long time and my valves were not opening all the way because of that. So if you guys have any ticking at all in your 3000 GTs or maybe even other cars, definitely change those lash adjusts because I can't even explain how much better the car is. Way more power than I ever had before. And, uh, I also was experiencing a problem before I did this where I was having a hard time generating boost. I was getting intermittent problems where I could get the 15 to 17 pounds I normally run to where I could only run about wastegate pressure, which was like six to seven pounds. And I could not figure out why. Now I know why. My valves were not opening enough to allow the turbos to spool, to allow the airflow through the engine so the turbos could really spool up. Sounds crazy. I can't believe that my <laughs> lash adjusters were that bad, but they were. And so this was a very well worth it investment that I made. A few hours of work, tops, and uh, about 90 bucks I think I spent for the, the new lash adjusters. And yeah, so well worth it. I would probably never have another... 3000 GT or Stealth that had any sort of noise that I wouldn't replace those those lash adjusters. And uh, it was easy, really, overall. And so now the car is totally quiet. I know that the last clip you just heard, it was still making a little bit of noise, but I hadn't driven it yet at that point. Now there is no valve train noise at all. It's There's no ticking, no knocking. Sounds awesome. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I have just created a new channel just for my automotive work. This is the first video getting uploaded to that channel. So if you subscribe, that really helped me out. Click the little bell so you get notifications every time I make a new video. And leave me a comment, you know. Call me a dumbass for almost dropping a washer on my engine. Tell me nice job, whatever you want to say. Thanks for watching, guys.